Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Shi Xiaojiang from Penn State University. I'm pleased to uh, introduce our recent work, Machine Learning for Modeling of Missing Dynamics. This work is joined with uh, my advisor, Jiang Halim. So this is the plan of my talk. So I'll first introduce the framework of our modeling of missing dynamics. Uh, for missing dynamics, we will use two machine learning tools. One is called the reproducing kernel Hilbert spaces representation, RKHS representation. And another is called the long short term memory network, LSTM network. Then I will show you three examples human dynamics with uh, double web potential, um, Lorentz line six model, and uh, quick model simplistic equation. Finally, I will show you the convergence theory. Here, uh, what is model of missing dynamics? Uh, as we know, model errors always arise from uh, incomplete understanding of physics in a lot of uh, dynamical systems. Uh, even when we know the underlying physics, let's say we know the Newton's law or um, Navier Stokes equation or Maxwell equations. However, in some cases, the dynamical systems may be computationally expensive. So, also, we need to consider the reduction of the dynamical system. For some other problems, maybe we even don't know what is the un underlying physics. So, for that kind of problem, we may consider the data driven modeling based on the observation data. So, a Model errors may also in different fields maybe have different names, maybe sometimes maybe called the subgrade scale parameterization, uh, closure modeling, or reduced order modeling. And uh, the methodology may include uh, more Zwanzig homogenization, averaging homogenization, and stochastic parameterization. Here I just name a few. So uh, we should, as we know, uh, we should know. Uh, basically, we uh, our task is to deduce a computationally efficient model to predict the evolution of the result variables uh, of the uh, when the full dynamical system is missing or sometimes it's just too expensive to com for computation. So we, here first we. Uh, uh, we would like to see the, the framework of, of, of the missing dynamics. So we, we first consider only two variables. One is the resolved xt and another is unresolved resolved yt. For resolved xt, that means that the, this uh, uh, partial dynamics f is given, is, which is no. For unresolved yt, that means this is g, function g is unknown, is not given. So we, we can only consider the here deterministic uh, discrete dynamical system. Since uh, as we know, uh, all the continuous uh, system can be uh, uh, discretized use use some maybe finite difference or a rock cutter method. So we, our assumption uh, here assumption is that the full system is ergodic. Also here F and G are both uh, globally lifted. Uh, here, since we know, uh, since since we hear the G, since the G is uh, unknown, which is missing, so uh, that means uh, the full system, right now for our closure model, uh, we need the uh, in order to obtain the closure model, we need more information. Here we are given a set of historical data sets for X T and Y T. For uh, and uh, here yt is called uh, identifiable unresolved variable. I will talk about later why yt is called identifiable unresolved variable in the following examples. So remember, our task is still to predict the result x t and uh, it's a statistics like the like say the mean covariance or the autocorrelation functions. This is uh, the framework of our uh, closure model. But since the partial dynamics f is known, so we can write down the dynamics for x t. Uh, for y t, since g is missing, so we need to replace this g with a conditional expectation e epsilon. So 
So it basically, uh, and also a, a residual, typical the residual is the Gaussian noise. Uh, our, basically our task here is just to train this uh, expectation, E epsilon, based on the, this historical data set, X, T, and Y, T. So here is an example. We consider a uh, longevity dynamics. Um, well, this is a double wear potential. So Vx uh, is uh, given in this form. So uh, we see, uh, as we can see from the figure, it is double wear. And the system is uh, discretized using Oro Mariama scheme. We observe the trajectory of xt uh, at every time step uh, delta equals 0.01. So then, uh, from the discretization of the first equation, then we can uh, think, uh, or extract uh, the data set for yt uh, by this formula, because uh, xt plus one minus xt divided by delta. So that's why uh, this uh, yt is called identifiable unresolved variable. Since uh, the data set of yt uh, can be identified from the resolved uh, variable of xt. So for our closure model, and we know we should uh, we need to train this uh, epsilon based on x t and y t. The so, uh, way here we consider using two machine learning tools. One is called the uh, architectures representation, and another is called the uh, LSTM network. So uh, we first consider the uh, the architectures representation. Uh, so uh, what is architectures? Basically, say uh, any function f in this uh, architecture H, this function space, uh, then there is this uh, kernel k such that uh, the inner product between the f and the k cause uh, the function f itself. Here, we need to use the kernel embedding of uh, conditional distributions. So that means the y, y z are two random variables in uh, y and z. Two uh, spaces. Then the, this conditional distribution p y given z can be expressed as a, a series like this. Basically, here we can treat it this as a generalization of a Fourier representation. That means uh, uh, psi k y is a complete basis in a weighted L a weighted L two space with weight q. The phi kz is also a complete basis in weight L2 space, uh, appropriate weight q2 time. So uh, the, then this uh, green, this term, can be treated as the Fourier coefficients. These Fourier co coefficients can be estimated by the Monte Carlo estimation. So uh, since we need uh, uh, this uh, we need to estimate uh, this, uh, learn this uh, conditional expectation. So once we get uh, this uh, conditional distribution, conditional density, we can obtain the conditional, uh, uh, conditional mean very easily. So uh, our task here is to, is to need to, uh, we first we need to choose some appropriate uh, uh, Psi k and uh, k, and then we need to train these three coefficients based on this Monte Carlo estimation. What then next? Then once there are some new y i or z i comes in, then we can apply it as this new y i and z i based on this formula. So here is the result. You more, uh, we can see that uh, uh, for this double well large dynamics of double well potential. The short time trajectories uh, uh, can be uh, uh, captured. Uh, if we only use 50,000 data for training, then the trajectory can be captured up to 20. If more training data sets, uh, let's say 500,000 data are uh, used for training, then the trajectory can be captured up to uh, 150. Also, uh, more training data sets are used. Uh, 
then the probably density function can be well captured. Also, uh, here is the, the auto covariance can be captured if for more data sets are used. Here, since also for, for this double well potential uh, large dynamics, uh, we also uh, compare the mean asset time and the reaction rate. We see that uh, uh, all these long term statistics can be uh, well estimated. Here is also the theorem that you say uh, that you say uh, the error uh, is uh, proportional to the, uh, the epsilon. The epsilon is the standard deviation of the learning error rate, and the capital T is uh, the, uh, the the time, and delta is the time steps. Uh, however, in most cases, as we know, uh, the problem uh, is uh, uh, especially for this unresolved variable yt, which is uh, lives in a high dimensional space. So in, in such case, then we have almost no way to recover the, this missing uh, dynamics g. Then how we, now the question, how we do, do it? So we all, um, my thought knowledge here is just to decompose this uh, known function f into two parts. One part only evolves the result variable xt, and the remaining parts evolves the, uh, the uh, is a function of uh, xt and yt. This theta t here is uh, called the identifiable unresolved variable. We note that uh, the dimension of theta t here is, is, is the same uh, with the dimensionality of xt. So uh, if x, in, in of, of course we know uh, in most cases the uh, xt is low dimensional and so theta t is also low dimensional. So here is an example, so, uh, the first uh, is the Ron 96 model. So uh, x uh, k is the result variable and the uh, uh, yjk is the uh, unresolved variable since for each xk, it connects to j uh, yjk. So yjk is really high dimensional. And all these terms here are just uh, denoted by the theta k, the green term denoted by theta k, this identifiable unresolved variable. And uh, similarly for this uh, chrome model, simplistic model, so uh, I will discuss the uh, ks model later also. So here our task is still to predict uh, the trajectory of uh, x, t, and s, t, x. For, uh, for closed model, we need to train this uh, condition uh, To train this condition we need to choose what is the memory term, this is ATM. Here's ATM, that means uh, we contain the uh, result variable x and also unresolved theta uh, for m terms. So uh, that means, uh, so that here M characterize the memory length. So then there are two regimes. If uh, the M is small, that means short memory regime, then the ATM is low dimensional. So we use the architecture representation for uh, learning this uh, connection expectation epsilon. If uh, the ATM is high dimensional, that means M is large, then we consider using uh, LSTM network for learning this uh, uh, Conditional expectation. Yeah, let's first see this uh, Ron 96 model. Uh, this xk is connected to several yjk. So uh, we see that here we consider k equals 18, that there are 18 xk, and the j equals 20, that means totally there are 360 uh, yjk, a really high dimensional or unresolved variable. And our this is a framework call, as we discussed before, uh, framework of our, of our reduced model. So uh, from our trial, we found that uh, although the full dynamics is high dimensional, but uh, it seems that it's the um, memory, uh, intrinsically it still has only uh, has a short memory uh, regime. So uh, we consider only using architecture representation 
for using only one memory term, and also another reduced model we use two memory terms. And for comparison, also we consider the Wilkes uh, parametric technique that we represent uh, the identifiable unresolved variable theta k as a polynomial of k, xk. Here is the result for small sigma, and there is a uh, time scale separation between the result xk and the result yjk. So in this case, we only need to uh, consider the uh, architecture representation with, with only one memory term x. So we find that uh, uh, both the PDF and uh, auto-occurring auto function can be well captured. Also, we find that RKHS representation forms better than the Wilkes parametric uh, representation. And we consider a uh, relatively large sigma, uh, then in this case, there is no time scale separation between xk and yjk. Then we see that uh, uh, for the for the closure model, um, the RKHS representation with two memory terms performs the best. We see it can uh, this uh, back curve uh, with two memory terms okay, can well capture this uh, uh, the yellow curve for the full dynamics. Well, uh, however, uh, we see that Wilkes method and uh, RKHS with only one memory term can not capture this uh, uh, auto querying function uh, very well. Also, we see that uh, uh, this IMSE uh, one the quantity uh, measures uh, the, uh, the the short forecasting. Uh, if uh, this uh, curve is more closer to the zero, that means uh, then then this closure model performs better. So here we see that architecture with the two memory terms is the best. Uh, uh, closure model. Uh, then that's why here the reason is we see uh, architectures with uh, two uh, uh, two memory terms. We see from the scatter plot, it can almost uh, recover the uh, scatter plot of the full dynamics. But uh, Wilkes and the architectures with one memory terms cannot uh, recover this scatter plot. Okay. Here is several uh, remarks on the RKHS. So we, based on this uh, uh, RKHS representation, we, although we have not discussed detail here, actually we can see that all closure model from this non-parametric formation can be written in the form of uh, parametric representation. If the, the, the popular POG basis are used, that means uh, after some uh, derivation here, then we can represent uh, this uh, conditional expectation as a regression between uh, R and Z. So for example, if uh, we just uh, choose the, 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 the Z T as a, a six dimensional, let's say, uh, object, let's say, contains the one bent by one FK, FK square to FK to the fifth, then we will get this Wilkes uh, parametrization. So that means uh, this Wilkes parametrization actually is uh, some kind of uh, included in our architecture's representation. So we, uh, also for a lot of uh, pre a lot of other previous studies, uh, a lot of parametric uh, representation can be understood from our uh, this uh, architecture's the parametric formulation, like the, this, the linear autoregressive model or the NAMAX. However, um, RKHS still suffers from uh, curse of dimensionality. So basically, uh, if uh, the Z this is uh, lived in a high dimensional space, then it is very difficult to construct uh, the basis functions. Also, it is very difficult to avoid it at some new point uh, since uh, due to the this uh, competition expensive, so I, to overcome this curse of dimensionality, we will consider using the LSTM net network instead. So there are totally m memory terms 
that is AT, recall what is M. That means um, M characterized the length of the uh, the here. M characterized the length of memory uh, uh, memory length. So then the, we train this uh, LSTM with uh, M plus one cell uh, such that the final output uh, H M plus one produces this uh, uh, training data set, C T plus one very well. This is our loss function. And finally, after the, the train, training finished, then we will get an optimal weight W star. And uh, also we note there are several uh, related works uh, uh, by different several different uh, groups here. Uh, these uh, all these uh, works uh, the idea of uh, LSTM, but uh, our different uh, the different here is difference here is that we uh, used uh, the idea of uh, identifiable unresolved variable to uh, uh, to predict uh, the result variable uh, xt. Here is the example of uh, the chromodal simplicity equation. Well, this is uh, uh, this is the full representation of the KS model. So uh, for this model, uh, it is kind of uh, difficult since the reason is uh, we note that uh, for small k, uh, the based on the linearization of this model, uh, small k small k modes are linearly unstable, but only for uh, high-k modes, then they are linearly stable. Here we choose some appropriate just L, such, and finally we find that the leading three modes are linearly unstable. That means they will uh, they grow exponentially with respect to time. However, uh, since there are uh, uh, high-k modes, uh, then they are linearly stable, then, then Finally, the energy can be transferred from the uh, unlinear, uh, unlinear, uh, linearly, linearly stable low modes to the linearly stable high mode. So finally, uh, this uh, KS model is still well posed. Solutions uh, remain globally bounded in time. Here we uh, consider. Uh, after several trials, found that uh, we need to uh, consider the six leading modes uh, for the, our, our closure model. And uh, this is a framework of our closure model. We note that uh, uh, it is, uh, since this, this is really high dimensional for the memory term, the ATM. Since uh, we see that uh, each uh, the V and the theta are both a complex number. Also, uh, they, this uh, theta, uh, total six modes are considered. So this uh, each theta k is in uh, C6, and uh, each VK is also in C6. So the dimension totally finally is after completion uh, is about 480. Uh, Here is our result. We find that uh, for short time trajectory, it can almost uh, uh, can be captured up to time t equals about 50. And also, all, almost all the long time statistics can be well captured, including the auto correlation function, cross correlation function, uh, prob probability density function, and also the energy spectrum. These are the uh, Long term statistics and short term trajectories for the leading six modes. Okay. Uh, finally, uh, we will just, uh, I, have, I just introduced uh, the, the, the idea of uh, the, uh, the co convergence theory. So basically, we will use Dyson formula, uh, then apply it to, it to the subspace of X and uh, the result X and Identifiable unresolved variable theta, then we can obtain 
uh, completely equivalent dynamics for X and, and theta closed system. And then further, we need to assume the finite length the memory and uh, their residue from the long time. Then we, then, then we can in, truncate this uh, second equation here to finite uh, length memory, M, M memory terms. Also, uh, finally, we can show that uh, the trajectory of our reduced model uh, is uh, close to the trajectory of the full model up to a uh, finite time. So, uh, finally, let's, let's uh, summarize the, uh, our work. Here, here, the innovation here is here we propose a framework of model of missing dynamics. A new concept here is the identifiable unresolved variable. And uh, for closure, for our model closure, we use RKA trace representation for short memory regime and the ARSTM network for long memory regime. Also, the point is depending on the choice of basic functions, uh, our closure model from non parametrization information can be written in the form of parametric representation. That means uh, for a lot of a variety of variance, the parametrization representation is the works can be understood from our RKHS uh, non parametric formulation. Here, also, we did, although did not show the numerical results, actually, we can, in, in our paper, uh, one of the our example shows that uh, uh, in the presence of uh, this identifiable unresolved variable, uh, uh, then the numerical results uh, can be uh, bet can be better. That means the the, uh, the 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 short time trajectory and the long time statistics of the resolved variable X T could be well captured. Therefore, uh, we uh, use the uh, the identifiable unresolved variable theta uh, in this memory uh, this term. Okay, this is uh, that's all. Uh, thanks for your attention.